if you can take me back to the first time you picked up the script and, and you read it, what was it about this project and this story that interested you and, and perhaps the characters, you know, what was it that made you say yes to, to signing on to the show? When I read the screenplay, I did not understand any single word because I'm not an expert in soccer and I had... I don't even know what it means to be a soccer agent. And when I met one, I was just asking what I should do. And he gave me two or three hints and he said, make him very ambiguous. So on that, I built my character. I haven't seen the show yet and hopefully that comes through correctly. They have to understand my ambiguity. Did you like it, my answer? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very ambiguous. <laughs> Um, and also, your um, character's very um, sort of uh, like rough and um, very um, not this traditional agent, perhaps that back in back in England in, in the past. Um, did you base your character on anyone in particular? No, not really. No, <laughs> not really. I, well, my source of inspiration was not one single person, but more people uh, that uh, I happen to know about or meet, and about the fact that they are ruthless. I think that all of us can become ruthless in circumstances in life. Il mio personaggio che è un po' il male. My, my character is both good and evil, and of course, where, where there's good, there's also evil, and so uh, that's the way I, I played it in the ambiguity that my soccer agent suggested that I adopted. It was easy for me, even because my character suffers from a degenerative disease, and therefore, when I didn't know what to do, I had my hand shivering. And that was okay. It's joking. It's joking. No, I mean, it's joking. <laughs> no, no, it, it's joking. 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 She's always in dire straits. She is having a hard time uh, living to the expectations that everybody has on them. You know, she's trying to uh, perform and to be up to what she has to do and puts on many, many different uh, masks. Her father projects on her things that she's not sharing. And she's always looking to be loved by her father, something uh, that is not, uh, she's not receiving, you know, this love that she's longing for. And I, I'm keen on saying that Giancarlo is distracting me. But anyway, uh, she's, not, she's not ruthless. She's not ruthless at all. Um, so the word uh, ruthless has been used uh, a couple of times. Um, I just wondered if, for, for any of you, when you were familiarizing yourself with the script and also, you know, the world of the transfer market, did the kind of brutality and cutthroat nature of that world sort of shock any of you? I was very impressed by the frantic pace that uh, the, the transfer market has. You know, cards can change in a second and the balances, and it's like gambling at a certain moment. Uh, you have to act very quickly, considering also the vast, the huge economic interest that lies behind all the negotiations. And maybe I was naive before, but I didn't expect uh, such a frantic uh, pace uh, after such a long preparation. No, I mean, I was very impressed, very impressed by, <laughs> I was attracted <laughs> by the screen play because uh, I'm not a particular soccer fan uh, and I didn't know all the dynamics, but I've heard about stories of corruption in uh, soccer players and referees, for instance, and I was very curious, that's the approach that I had with the script and I learned a lot and I had fun in making the, the series, the show. And how do you become how to become evil and uh, how to, um, to, to, <laughs> to see for, to, to be, uh, to have the best on the others, so to speak. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Grazie. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you very much.